So I just want to start off by showing y'all the difference between my shrinkage side and the side that was blown out. This is my hair. I have 4C hair. And my natural hair does not grow fast at all. I've probably only trimmed my way to my natural self. And this is how much my hair has grown from wearing wigs. But all my life I've had short hair. And I'm just using this Jamaican lime. Um, you can use this stuff to do braids, um, locks, all types of, um, natural styles. And this is the one that has the, um, I forgot what it's infused with, but it's really good for your scalp. If you have like, um, bad dandruff or eczema of the scalp, cause it's cooling and it does, it's got that tingling feeling and stuff. So it's really good for your scalp. And what I'm basically doing here is doing a basic foundation braid down on myself. And I am weaving in some hair with it, the braiding hair with it. This hair was $1.99. This is the pre-stretch hair you can get at your beauty supply store. And yeah, so I'm just doing the um, basic foundation like that you would use for a, um, a wig install or a a uh, closure install or a uh, frontal install and I'm gonna do that one braid across the nape and I'm gonna do cornrows straight to the back <laughs> video of 2023 i'm gonna try to take youtube more serious because i did get discouraged but i am trying to get to 1k followers well subscribers so please hit the subscribe button like comment give me some advice on how i can grow my youtube channel and audience i know for a fact i have to start making more content but what type of content should i do because i know there are a million and one hair videos out there but i'm just trying to get myself out there more so i'm gonna come up with some more videos but i thought this would be a nice little fun video to do because i haven't did this style on i've never done this style on myself before i've had it before but it's always been done by another stylist so this is my first time putting a crochet in my hair and you basically just going to keep going with your braids a basic braid foundation like i said corn roll straight to the back and I always add product to y'all um stuff y'all because your hair gets super dry in these styles even when you're wearing your wigs your hair gets super dry under the wigs but i had to give my wig a break that's why i'm doing these crochet because my edges i don't care what nobody say them if you wear a wig too many times or lace front too many times with that glue and stuff it will have an effect on your hairline and also adding the extra fake hair to your braids isn't necessary but i felt like it was i just wanted to do it because i figured it would help the um foundation last longer because i'm trying to wear this as long as i can wear it so that's why i'm adding um the braiding hair to my br my braids because the few times that i've worn this style before we didn't add any hair to it and it still lasted pretty good so i'm hoping it'll last even longer now that i have a stronger foundation base for it and if you don't know how to braid you can always get somebody to just to braid your hair straight to the back and you can do the crochet and part yourself if you want to do it at home 
but this is like one really good style to do on yourself and i was excited to do this again because i haven't worn this style in years Install is the Body Boss Jamaican braid hair, and you can use this hair for um, other styles. And what you're gonna do is take each bundle and cut it in half, so you can get the bushy look, the fro look. And I did half of my head off camera because I haven't done this before, and I just wanted to do half to get a feel for it. And once I got a feel for it, I started to um show you guys on camera and all you're really going to do is slide the crochet needle through the braid and slide the hair through and once you get that one side in as you can see i got that one side through you're basically just going to tie as you can yeah you can see it's through now but basically what you're going to do is tie a knot around the braid and just let it flow and boom it's in gonna do this method all over your braids and you can um add as much hair as you like the more air you hair the more hair you add y'all can tell i'm tired i'm recording this voice over after work y'all it was a whole mess ever today it was a hard chip but um the more air you the more hair you add the bigger your fro is so if you want more like of a lighter fro use less hair but if you don't mind just go ahead and while out i did use three packs of hair to be exact i did buy four but i was wasn't sure if i was going to run out of hair or not so i was just bought four to be on the safe side which was um 18 bundles altogether once you cut it in half 
but you could also just keep it long the is every is preference but i like mine to be a little bit shorter because i feel like it's a little bit more manageable so as you can see i'm just going and sliding the crew you slide the needle through the hair put the hair in the latch and then you slide it through and tie it around the braid and this is a um repeated process throughout the whole head until you get finished and i like to start from the back and work my way up to the front and also make sure you guys have clips to help you um keep the excess hair out of the way because it can get a little tangled up when you're sliding the hair through the um braid see right there it almost got another piece of hair almost got caught onto the needle so make sure you if you need to keep a clip nearby to help keep all of that out the way because you don't want everything to get you know tangled and knotted up even though the hair is going to eventually start to get bushier on its own you just want that to happen naturally because the older this style gets the more natural it looks and by the way, my braids are not the best. <laughs> I'm just letting that be known right now. So I'm going to slide the crochet needle through, put the hair on, pull the hair through. And once you get that loop, just pull one side all the way out. And then you're going to tie it. And like I said, keep a clip because you just see me had to move a piece of hair that got in the way. And also, you can go ahead and add a... Um, a crochet through the little parts that's not already braided like the little beginning before the corn roll like that little half an inch like right there see i'm adding um a hair right there and i was kind of nervous to do that because it um i feel like you don't want to put too much tension around your edges like that but it was totally fine. It wasn't super tight. So if you feel comfortable doing it, go for it. And it's just going to make everything look a little bit more natural because it's closer to your hairline. And as you can see, it's super cute. And we are at the top. So I'm just crocheting some more. In. And like I said, just put the needle through, put the hair on, slide the hair through slide that one piece all the way through and then you're tying it and you're done and i want to say all together this style took me about maybe two and a half to three hours to do because it it does take you a little longer when you're working on yourself but the results came out amazing in my opinion to say it was my first time doing this and all products can be found at your local hood ghetto beauty supply store which is good and oh the jamaican braid hair was 4.99 a pack of course the crochet needle was like under two dollars like maybe 1.99 to 99 cent and the jamaica the um grease stuff was 8.99 so everything is pretty much affordable i want to say in this style really is super affordable and there are so many different ways that you can crochet and so many different hairs you can get you can get twists you can get locks i might come back and do the locks because i used to get that style a lot too so i might come back and do the locks on myself as well and yeah you're just gonna crochet crochet throughout the whole head and it's gonna come out cute
and this part is totally optional you do not have to do this but i like to go in and just trim mine and kind of customize the bush a little bit do something to it so it just don't look so untamed i like to make mine look a little bit tame but it does look super super natural like this but i'm just gonna go in and just trim the ends a little bit just to give it a little um customization but this option this um step is totally optional and i just wanted to show you guys how it looked when i woke up the next day but remember you guys to so stay unique and love individuality and i will see you guys in the next video and happy 2023